Welcome to the Butterfly Empire Spirit Week. It is me, a butterfly queen. And welcome to the Butterfly Empire, where every day this week we are going to cover stories Death by Ghost. <laughs> Welcome back to Spirit Week. It is me, the Butterfly Queen, and you're on the Butterfly Empire. We are covering Krasu, once a beautiful woman who was burned to death. Krasu is cursed to be forever hungry, so sets off each night in search of blood and flesh. Living as a normal person by day, by nightfall, the head detaches from the body into quite the frightful sight. A floating head with the scare dangly below. Krasu will dine on animals or feces if she can't find a pregnant lady or newborn baby and will wipe her bloody mouth on clothes hanging outside, which is why Terasu is sure not to leave things out overnight. It manifests itself into a woman usually young and beautiful with her eternal organs hanging down from her neck, trailing below the head. According to an astronomer, the Krasu consists of a floating head accompanied by a glow. The explanations attempted about the origin of the glow includes the presence of methane in marshy areas. The Krasu is often said to live in the same area as Krahang, a male spirit. In Thai folklore, the spirit moves about by hovering in the air above the ground, for it has no lower body. The throat may be represented in different ways, either as one of the trachea or with a whole neck. The organs below the head usually include the heart, the stomach, and with some length of intestines. The intestinal tract emphasizes the ghost voracious nature. Hold on. Okay, now I'm back. This ghost is represented with more target organs such as lungs and liver, but most reduced in size and anatomically out of proportion with the head. The viscera are sometimes represented freshly dabbed with blood, as well as glowing. And contemporary represents her teeth often include the pointy fangs, I mean, like a vampire fashion. Krasu has been a subject of a number of movies in the region, also known as Krasu Mom. This Kabadori horror has the distinction of being the first movie made after the absence of local more made movies and the representative of local folklore in Cambodia. The Krasu is also found in the most popular mythology of Maslia, where it is called the Balin Balin. Also in Indonesia, where it has many names such as Lakaya, Poliskia, Silamatin, Kuyang, Papo, and Parakeng. <coughs> Excuse me. This bird is also part of Vietnamese folklore as Mai La Vi, yeah. minority ethnic groups of Vietnam's central highlights. In the Philippines, there are similar ghosts, a local spirit that haunts pregnant women, especially all parent, has also been referred to in many social videos made it a scary monster on social media. Oh, this is a pretty interesting story, if you ask me. Belief of in the existence of Krasu is shared across Southeast Asia and is originally in difficult to verify. However, it likely originates from folklore in Thailand. The Krasu is believed to be cursed individual, usually a female, who engaged in various sins and fraudulent conducts during her previous life. After she dies, her sins cause her to be reborn as Putui, that has to live off wasted, uncooked, and rotting food. 
In recent time, the Thai entertainment industry has fictionalized the original Krasu as cursed from an ancient Kahimra princess. The kidnapping princess cheated on her husband with a soldier. The soldier was decapitated while the Khmer princess was burned to death. However, before she died, she changed a spell to protect her mortal body, but was only able to save her head and organs. This depiction, however, merely is just an attempt to put a royal touch on the reinvent of a mystical being. It's a well-known story as a sessional folk origin, strictly for entertainment and commercial purposes. Once a critic notes, just wanted to depict Krasu as an evil alien demon, according from the witchcraft and black magic of a foreign pagan culture, which is ultimately subdued and defeated by the most elided Buddhist culture of Thailand. There are other organ traditions that say that the spirit was formerly a rich lady that had a length of black gauze on a red ribbon tied around her neck and was protected from the sunshine. This woman has been possessed by the evil spirit and was cursed to become a Krasu. Other popular claims the origin of this may have been a woman trying to learn black magic. <laughs> AHP are witches who failed practicing powerful math magic, causing it to, to backfire, cause, cursing themselves. APP are black magic practitioners borrowing a demon evil spirit's power by letting them possess their body at night. In exchange, HAP would have to pass their curse onto another woman to be able to enter the cycle of reincarnation. It could be their daughter, grandmother, relatives, or any other woman that is in their womanhood also practicing witchcraft. But some believe it could just be passed through the enchanting of body fluid to any woman, usually tricked. In order to protect pregnant women and their children from becoming victims, their relatives place thorny branches around the house as a barrier. This improvised thorny fence discouraged the AHP from coming to suck the blood and causing other suffering to a pregnant female. After delivering the woman, the relatives must take the placenta far away for burial to hide it from AHP. If the placenta is buried deep enough, the spirit will not be able to find it. It is believed that it would bring great calamities to the family and its family if AHP ate the mother's placenta. The so cross is under a curse that makes it ever hungry and always active in the night when it goes out hunting to satisfy its gluttony. Sick and blood to drink and raw flesh to devour and may attack cattle, chickens in the darkness, drinking their blood and eating their eternal organs. It may also prey on pieces of cattle such as water buffalo that have died from other causes during the night. If blood is not available for the Krasu, may eat feces or coon. Clothes left outside will be found stored with blood and excreting in the morning. Allegedly, after she had wiped her mouth, therefore, villagers would not leave clothes hanging to dry outside during the night hours. There is a legend said that the people who are wounded should be aware of the cross because they can smell the blood and will come to eat the blood at night when people fall asleep. However, there are ways to pretend prevent the cross from coming inside the house. House owners usually build spiky fences or grow spiky bamboo to protect themselves from the cross suit. Cross suit is scared of spiky things. Really? Okay. Weird. Because its intestines might get stuck and it could not escape. Hmm. Okay. I think that is all that we got for today. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. See you tomorrow.